Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. It's Wednesday, January 24th, 2024. Yeah, we got some green coming in today. Netflix had earnings yesterday, and I'm just sick to my stomach this morning because. I was talking about this yesterday in the live stream, but I had seen on I had seen on um, one of the business channels early yesterday that Netflix was going to blow up. Their earnings were going to be outstanding, and so you know, I was like, you know, "I can I can risk a little here." I bought a call, one call for twenty one oh five, so my max loss would have been. $2,105. And I thought, I'll just hold this through overnight, see what happens. And then, well, I chickened out and I ended up closing it yesterday afternoon for a couple hundred bucks. And now Netflix is up 50 points. <laughs> so, I uh, just chickened out on it. But man, I, I was like, when I placed it, I was like, I, if I lose $2,100, like I'm totally fine with that. It's not a big deal, you know? Um, so the, re the reward was way better than the risk, but for some reason I just chickened out. So I'm going to, I'm going to take a look at that. I want to take a look at that call. It was the 485 call in Netflix. Yeah. The premiums were high and I know that, you know, the vol crush would have hurt it, but, Still, it's 50 points higher, right? So, yeah, Tesla today, I haven't heard anything about them, but uh, at least not as much. I've read a little bit about they're not expecting their earnings to be very good. But, yeah, so uh, I don't know. I don't know if I'll do that or not. But, you know, it's like it's one of those things where it's like, just buying one contract and you know losing for my account with how well I've been doing with zero DTE, it just wasn't going to be a big deal if I would have lost two thousand dollars, and so um, I should have should have reconsidered that before I closed that out yesterday. But So the Dow is up 114, NASDAQ is up 154. S&P is up half a percent. Yeah, Netflix... Uh, be interesting to see if it just levels out here or what. There is the bell. All right, let's check this out. The 485 call, it would have been 5,500. It's at 50, well, 5450 right now. So, would have been about 3,500 bucks, maybe. I bought it for twenty two ten. No, I the axe. I was just talking about that. I chickened out and closed it yesterday. So it definitely didn't make as much as I thought I it would have, but because of that ball crush, but still. <laughs> Yeah, it's at fifty six oh five now. I, I would have bought it for I bought it for 
22 or no 2105 is what i got it for 2105 and it's at 56 now i bought it at 2105 is what it, what it was what i bought it my netflix call that i ended up closing out <laughs> so it would have been a nice winner yeah man it's just you know is what it is Netflix had 13 million subscribers. That's that's crazy. Yeah. So Netflix uh Netflix uh bid ask like the, the prices are pretty steep now they're getting up to 540 bucks uh for share VIX is uh, only down. It's not even down a percent yet, so. Netflix up 54 points. <laughs> 485 calls now worth $64. <laughs> man, I would have, yes, I would have made, man, I've made some good money on that. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens here if the market stays strong or if it's just an initial push up and then rolls over. Uh, the RIC could be in play with a s and being up, having an overnight. It was up over a quarter of a percent, but I'm probably not going to do that. The problem with Ricks for me, I've, I've found out, is they get in the way of adding my iron condors throughout the day because uh, it, it takes a couple short strikes. And so I would rather just trade my iron condors than put on a Rick. So getting our second volume bar here. Trading the two DTE today, two days to expiration.
Roblox kind of has a growing volume bar. Besides that, that's all I really see. Netflix still pushing up. <laughs> man, oh man. I'm an idiot. I don't know if Roblox is going to get there. So nothing really looking promising at the moment. <laughs> yeah, man. Sixty eight ninety five. Oh man. So not really seeing anything here that I'm interested in. Tesla kind of ripping up here. Look for some mighty 90s here now. Still going. Hey, with the last last week and a half or so, it's been a little tough to get some mighty nineties and uh, volume runners. Just some stair stepping down in volume. S&P futures have kind of pushed down. Actually, yeah, futures have pushed down here a little bit.
I mean, at some point, I, I expect uh, Netflix just to level off. Pretty much all stair stepping down in volume. So that's not really conducive to mighty 90s or runners. Uh, just some chop here with some of these Roku, Amazon, Meta. Uh, Tesla tried to get up through pre market highs and got rejected. I kind of wonder if at some point this market will pull back, even if it's at all time highs. You know, Netflix can't carry everything. PayPal coming down. Yeah, typically, typically, there's usually one or two volume runners by that second bar. See the VIX coming up a little bit, but it's not like it's, you know, ripping up or down. Just stair stepping down volume. Most of the indices have come down since the open a little bit. Meta trying to push through highs of day or through pre-market highs. I wonder if Netflix will level off here now. I have to look for some continuation runners today. We're not going to get any mighty 90 or volume signals. Roblox stand strong. 
None of those are volume runner signals, though. So just sit and be patient. <clears throat> Meta really pushing up here. I wonder if Meta is going to get a mighty 90, maybe. So, Meta looks like it's going to get a mighty 90. Meta, I would trade the three. Three ninety two point five puts. Try to get filled at four bucks. A little melting down. AMD getting a potential mighty 90 or volume runner. Let me check AMD here. Yeah, AMD. Bar's not as big as the first, but it's darn close. So I'm going to pass on AMD. Didn't quite get there according to Thinkorswim. So I'm passing on it. Build it four bucks in Meta. On a mighty 90. That's the 392.5 puts. Let's see, so I would close half my Meta at 440. And AMD still pushing. Wow, look at NVIDIA. NVIDIA actually has a mighty 90. Holy moly. Let me look at NVIDIA here. Yeah. NVIDIA, I would trade the 610 puts. Trying to get filled at 725. Really liked NVIDIA because it was coming up to this pivot. You know what? Actually, I'm going to cancel my NVIDIA before I get filled. Uh, filled at 440. Close half of Meta. Okay, so reason I just went ahead and canceled my NVIDIA is because I can see this bar is growing, this volume bar. So 
this early, it's looking like it's going to be a upside volume runner that continues to go up. So I'm not going to mess with NVIDIA. Deox, how to decide if Mighty Nine your volume runner? Have you have you watched those courses, Deox? Okay. So, I mean, it's very clear in, in the course, the Mighty 90 and the volume runner. I mean, the volume runner's bar bigger than the first in the same direction. Mighty 90's volume bar bigger than the previous. I would close another meta at 480. No, volume runners and mighty 90s are are opposites. They're two totally different trades. So AMD has a big volume bar to the upside here. NVIDIA, I don't know if it's going to get there now. Yeah, Nvidia, yes, it's that's not going to get there. It's like Meta's going to give us one red bar. Yeah, I'm just gonna stay away. I'm gonna stay away from Nvidia, even though it's a mighty 90 signal. It uh, kind of looks like it wants to go postal here. Let's see, El Piero. We don't mess with Netflix, no. Well, I mean, it's got to be. It's got to give me a, a mighty 90 or a continuation runner or a volume runner signal before I get in. Cody, how do you determine the 480 on Netflix? I don't remember in the course. Yeah, uh, you mean you mean meta? I scale out every uh, 10%. Yeah, scale out every 10%. So Meta hasn't given us two consecutive reds here yet. Futures are kind of starting to settle down here a little bit. Roblox coming all the way back down.
Meta coming. Meta may give us a second red bar here. Roku coming through lows of day. A little two-way action going on here with, uh, you know, some Microsoft pushing up, Amazon coming down, Roku down, NVIDIA up. I'd like to see Meta fall apart here, but may not. So Meta got about a minute and a half left here, so we're still good. Looks like Iron Condor is setting up. What do you mean by setting up, Krish? Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> really, it's like, it, it's really, really up to, I mean, there's no like exact time to enter. So it's kind of, it's discretionary, obviously, but um, I mean, as far as the Delta goes, it would be, yeah, the 4900s. And 4875s probably. But I have to click, you know, I've got to put it in and look at the analysis of all that before I, I actually take it. I always like to check that analysis tab and see if, I, if I'm centered. Am I skewed a little bit, maybe, depending on what price is doing? Uh, in terms of price movement, yeah, price has kind of settled down last 15 minutes here. So I'm going to wait like five or like a couple more bars just to make sure it doesn't have another push in it. Okay, so we got we got two red bars in meta. So let's see what it does here. Now, two two consecutive red bars means we close the mighty 90. So if you want to close yours, go ahead. It's kind of setting up like it might want to be an upside continuation runner. So, you know, big push up, kind of a pause here. If it doesn't, if it doesn't push lower here, actually, if it doesn't if it doesn't push down lower here, I'm just going to close it. But the rules say to close it now. So, if you've got a winning trade right now, like I do, I would, you know, by all means, close it. And Nvidia is still pushing up here. Sometimes I like to leave a little piece on in a mighty 90. Like maybe I'll close all with maybe a couple contracts and just see if it'll, it'll run. Yeah, I've got three contracts left, so I'm gonna let it let it see if it'll run here. So far it's it's working. Yeah, see, Chris, this is why I waited. See how it's pushing again. So I want to, I want to kind of see if there's. Um, I always like to see at least two pushes. Typically, I mean, yesterday was an exception. Yesterday, it chopped out of the gates. But this is exactly why I don't enter at nine o'clock or earlier. What else we got? If 
it, it looks like Meta is going to come up here from this point on. I'll just close that mighty 90. You know, I mean, that's just that's just me like watching price movement for two and a half months of doing doing that trade and just noticing there's usually like two pushes. Oh, I'll, I'll I'll be trading the AM Iron Condor for sure, Dark Avenger. I'm 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 totally fine with the volatility. All right, I closed my meta at four twenty eight. Filled at four twenty eight. That mighty 90. See, it looks like it wanted to, wants to push back up. So really no harm in holding it there. I could have closed it down at the bottom of that third bar would have been better. But, you know, it is what it is. we got I just don't trust AMD I mean it's kind of setting like a upside continuation runner it also had a big volume bar it's pulling back a little bit but I don't know this market being at all time highs I could see at some point today we get some downside action So I'm just not gonna just jump in for the heck of it. Yeah, so AMD was a volume runner because of this bar right here. was bigger than the first even though it's opposite direction that's okay because um now if it was the if it was the very second bar and it, it was green and bigger than the first that would not be a volume runner you want those to be the same but once price has moved and once you know there's been some time that has passed it doesn't really matter it just you just want it bigger than the first I mean, to be honest with you, AMD really is setting up nicely here as a upside continuation runner too. Big push, little pause, three bar pullback, push up. So, you know, a, a continuation runner could be a low risk trade here because if it pushed below right here where that's, second red bar is that price point you could just you just that would be your exit you would just get out of it so it'd be a small loss if you got in right now in fact i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to jump in this amd 172.5 calls actually you know what i'm going to I'm going to wait because it's only been one minute into this bar. So I want to wait. I want to wait until it gets closer to the, to the end of this bar. Cause the end of this bar could finish down here at the pivot. You know, if, if, if the end of the bar was in the next 30 seconds, I would get in right here. But because we're just in the second minute of this bar, I'm going to wait. So if it can hold right there, and, and you know, it's in the last minute of the five minute bar, then I would jump in. I've, I've Dark Avenger, I've taken 20 wide iron condors in the morning and book profits the way I trade them. So that's really irrelevant to me, honestly. But, you know, that's that's why, you know, 
trading is unique and it's everybody's choice. You have your own choice on the trades you place. I mean, I've had two red days since October 1st. So. Okay, so AMD trying to pop back up here. So not going to take it now. So, you know, I just didn't like it. I wanted to wait until it got a little closer to in this bar and it's it's leaving without me. So I'm okay missing it. This is that's part of trading. See, good out in meta there. Futures popping back up. So before I enter my iron condor, I'm going to kind of see, I want to see a little bit of price consolidation here. Good out in meta. That's why you get out after two red bars on a mighty 90. But this is a good example if you if you want to know what a continuation runner looks like. I mean, AMD is it. Push up. You know, some three nice pushes there. Actually got a big volume bar, a little two bar. Potentially it was a three bar pullback and then bounce again and then continue upward. Now, I would want to see it in the next bar or two push through highs of day. I don't want it to sit there and chop. And look at Roblox push up all the way back down. Square struggling. Microsoft strong. NVIDIA, man, I'm glad I didn't get in front of that train. Netflix trying to just kind of settle down here a little bit. Microsoft long. What do you mean? So what what would be what would it, would it be a mighty 90 here, a volume runner or a continuation runner? With Microsoft long, like for anybody that's new, like if 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 you uh, like, I love it when people post in the Discord. But when you post in the Discord, post like what strategy you're talking about, because otherwise, people that are new they don't they're trying to learn continuation runner. So for a continuation runner, we would need to see like a two or three bar pullback like AMD. So when it was up here. And you posted Microsoft long, so we don't get in on a long when it's pushing up. So we would have to wait a couple more bars to see if Microsoft would give this type of setup for a continuation. AMD is still consolidating, which is still a good sign that it might that it's going to push up. So for continuation runners, we have either a little pullback or a consolidation like this. I mean, it's just important for people to know, like, we don't get long or short just because we think that's the direction the stock is going. Like, we're getting long or short based on 
the signals we're getting. If you see a little consolidation to the downside, so you know Square just kind of consolidates here, could be a downside continuation runner. Yeah, so Tesla's got earnings today, so I'm just kind of staying away from Tesla. Uh, it wouldn't be a continuation runner because it's already pushed up too far. Like you don't want it to push up more than about right at this price point here. I mean, you could see in NVIDIA, like it didn't come below where this last big push was. See that? I'm sorry, AMD, AMD. So it didn't, if it would have pushed below this point here, it's not a continuation runner. So... So not a lot of options today again. I mean, AMD would have been the only other one that I probably would have tried to go in at. Let's check. So futures popping back up. Yeah, so I need to start probably looking at an iron condor now. So So VIX doing VIX coming down. Okay, so my iron condor. I'm gonna look at the 4900 and the 4875s. With 50 point wings. Okay, I got something wrong there. This was wrong. Okay, so 540 is my, see if I can get filled at 540. It's not looking like it's going to. Now I'm going to cancel that because it's down to five bucks. So I'm going to give it a second here. And NVIDIA, wow.
Microsoft pushing highs of day. Let me get back to All right, I'm gonna let it I'm gonna wait here just a second, Chris, because it's kind of pushing up. I'd like to see it kind of calm down here. AMD hasn't broken out yet, so. Got about just a minute on this bar. Yeah, I mean, it kind of... <clears throat> Really, really, it's gotten two pushes, honestly. It's got that push. It's got this push down. And now it's working on its second push. So so for me, like, again, this is how I, the difference of what I do compared to Steve, I like to see the two pushes. So it just wasn't quite done with that second push yet, if that makes sense. Why do I say what? It was not done with its second push. Because look, see this red? Look at my screen. See this big push down? And now it's still going up. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's why I say that. It, it'll tell me it's done when it's level off for, you know, 10 or 15 minutes. And so and that's one thing I've said in my, you know, since I've kind of been answering people's questions and, you know, that I'll be in my presentation was, I, you know, I'm really looking for two pushes. Well, this is one all the way down. And now it's completing a second push right now. Well, I mean, yeah, because this bar pushed above the last one, right? So I want I want to see it can start consolidating, then get in. Like look 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 at the look at the last three green bars. Okay, push up. The second one, push up and got higher than the previous. Third one, push up, higher than the previous. So there hasn't been no consolidation on this push yet. So now if this one kind of just sits here. Now would be about the time to enter. Well, I mean, I, I guess you could say that. I mean, that it's not the verbiage I would use. My verbiage is is what I'm using. I want to see it consolidate. Um, and not not have pushed above. Like if this one, like if it pushes up, if it would be up here above right now, I just keep waiting. I mean, I guess that's probably a good a good way to put it. That verge you used, you want it to stay within. But it's not just with this one. Like I'd like to see maybe one more kind of just consolidate. I guess Nvidia, man, it was just really. Jealous of Netflix, man. Just wanted to rip. Interestingly enough, AMD, if we would have got into that upside continuation run, it really would be, wouldn't, wouldn't be getting it, it'd be pretty flat right now. You know, when you have these, when you've got the markets, when they're up big or down big, you know, 
what, what's the reason we put on a rick? We put on a rick when there's been a big gap up, right? And we expect we then expect price to move one way or the other quite a ways, right? So on those days where you have these gap ups or even the for me the big gaps down, I'm waiting a little bit maybe longer to enter an iron condor to see where it's going to maybe the price is going to settle. Because at some point, it's going to settle down a little bit. And then when it does settle, you want to you want to you want it to settle long enough to book 20 percent profit, because then you the worst you can do is a scratch trade. You know, it may then move on your first one. You know, and test one of your sides. And that's when, bam, you put on a second one, centered. All right, so we got like a minute left on this one. It's starting to settle down a little bit. So I'm going to let this bar close and kind of see what this next one does. And if the next one kind of is just sitting there, then I'll enter. I mean, you think about it, you, there's really no rush. You know, sometimes it's a rush to enter a mighty 90 and a runner because you don't want it to leave you. But when you're doing these iron condors, there's really no rush because you're doing them throughout the day, right? Whereas the mighty 90 and runners, like you're, you know, these are 15, 20 minute trades. Whereas this could be a couple hour trades. So I'd rather be a little patient than rush it. So it's kind of like changing your mindset. You go from trade mighty 90s and runners where, oh, I got to get in here because I don't want to miss it to, well, you know, I'm, I mean, I'm not really going to miss anything here if I don't, if I wait five minutes. So if this, if this continues to push above that one, then I'll just wait. If it kind of just ch starts to chop, then I'll, then I'll get in. NASDAQ, it's, it's gone through highs of day. I thought at some point here, this, you know, the Netflix would, wouldn't be able to carry this entire market, but dang. Pretty incredible. Okay, so he keeps kind of getting forced down here. So I'm going to look at the same 4,900s. I'm going to wait until it gets close to the end of this bar. But I'm going to get it ready. 4,900 calls. Forty-eight seventy-five puts. points wide yeah, it's still only 515 but See, I'm just going to wait here, see if it breaks through there. Still has two and a half minutes.
Yeah, I mean, I'd like to see two pushes. We're here, it's pushed down, now it's pushed up, and now I want to see it start to consolidate. I'm going to, I'm going to, ah, it's going up here. So give it a sec. I'm going to go with the 4,900, 4880s, 4,900, 4880s. Get a little more premium. And I can't get filled. Gosh, dang it. I'm going to go 40 points wide. All right, I went with the. I uh, probably should. I went with the forty nine hundred forty eight eighty fives, but I should have done the forty eight eighties. So if I was you, I'd do the forty eight eighties. I just clicked the wrong one, but oh well. So forty nine hundred forty eight eighties or forty eight eighty fives, but I definitely like the forty eight eighties better. It's I just didn't click the right button. So, oh well, I mean, it's only five point difference, but you could get, you could have gotten over five in pre premium using the, the 4880s and gotten wider, you know, so. All right, guys, I will um, see you guys in power hour today. Catch you later. Peace.